Good morning. Welcome to St. Elizabeth of Hungary Parish. Our opening hymn is number 732, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus, number 732. Good morning, good people, and welcome our viewers and listeners. Thank you for joining us at St. Elizabeth of Hungary uh, Parish for uh, the celebration of the Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Shakespeare gave us a stark image of love in one of his sonnets. Now, he wrote that love is not love when it alters because it finds alterations. It uh, looks upon uh, the stormy times, but is never shaken. Jesus spoke less poetically, uh, yet more insistently in his uh, final words to his disciples before leaving his last moments in a gesture of love. We'll hear that Paul and, and Barnabas uh, will live their love despite being persecuted and threatened. We face the relationship between our believing in Jesus and the challenge of loving, in fact, and fidelity. So as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we can, we can pray also uh, for, uh, also to, to love in response uh, to, to God's love for us and Jesus' commandment to care uh, for his sisters and brothers. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us. Lord, Lord have mercy. Have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people. you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. Son, Lord, Lord God, Lamb of God, 
fruits of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you are pleased to make new in the holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he was a disciple. Then Barnabas took charge of him and brought him to the apostles, and he reported to them how he had seen the Lord and that he had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had spoken out boldly in the name of Jesus. He moved about freely with them in Jerusalem and spoke out boldly in the name of the Lord. He also spoke and debated with the Hellenists, but they tried to kill him. And when the brothers learned of this, they took him down to Caesarea and sent him on his way to Tarsus. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. It was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, it grew in numbers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. of the nation shall bow down before him. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. Before him shall bend all who go down into the dust. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. And to him, my soul.
so shall live. My descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn, for God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from him whatever we ask, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit he gave us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you, just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains divine. So neither can you unless you remain in me. I am divine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burnt. If you remain in me and my word remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Doors create openings in buildings. They open up 
a building so that we can enter it. If this church had no doors, we would not have been able to gather inside it. In that sense, doors create movement. They allow people to move from outside to inside or from inside to outside or from one space to another space within a building. So the people we meet in life can sometimes serve a similar purpose to the doors in our buildings. They create openings for us. They encourage us to move from one space in our lives to another space. They open up a new horizon for us and point us towards it. We can probably all think of people who have played that kind of a role in our lives. We look back to them with gratitude. Perhaps at a crucial moment in our lives, they opened a door for us in some new and more life-giving space. Think of parents. Certainly open up all kinds of doors for their children. Many of us will have no difficulty recognizing that we would not be where we are in life today if it were not for the sacrifices made for us by our parents. So one of the qualities of a good relationship is the mutual opening up of doors for one another. Good friend can open each other up to new places, new people, new and worthwhile realities of all kinds. Much as we might value our independence, we know in our own heart of hearts how dependent we are on others for so much. The first reading this morning is a very good example of how one person creates an opening for another. At the beginning of his Christian life, Paul was very dependent on others to get started on his missionary work. Now, according to our first reading, when he first went to Jerusalem after his conversion, the disciples were very slow to have anything to do with him. They related to him only as the one who up till recently had been persecuting them. It was Barnabas. Barnabas who created an opening for Paul into the young church in Jerusalem. Barnabas was a respected church leader. And his strong recommendation for Paul was enough to calm everyone down and allow Paul to find a place within the Jerusalem community. There must have been more than one Barnabas in the early church. People who opened doors for other believers to use their gifts in the service of the Lord and the church. One of the greatest gifts a person can 
can have is the, the gift of facilitating. Facilitating the gifts of others. And that particular gift is one that requires a certain degree of humility. And creating an opening for, for Paul Barnabas was making way for someone who was, in many ways, more gifted than he himself was. Barnabas was opening a door for someone who would go on to become a much more significant member of the early church than Barnabas himself was. He may well have realized that this would be the case. Yet his focus was not on himself but on the Lord and on the work of the Lord. So we may often find ourselves in a position to create an opening, an opening for someone who is more gifted than we are, who has more to bring to the, to the task in hand than we do. Stepping back so that others may flourish is one aspect of our baptismal calling. Now, the only person in the early Christianity who said of himself, I am the door, was Jesus. He didn't simply open a door for others. He was the door. He was the the door to God. The door to God's light, to God's love and truth. And as the door, he calls on all of us to pass through him so that we might find God. So in this morning's gospel reading, Jesus uses another image of himself. The vine. If as the door, Jesus calls on us to pass through him towards God as vine, he calls on us to remain in him so that we might draw God's life from him. And that is what he means when he says, whoever remains in me bears fruit in plenty. In and through our union with Jesus, our lives bear God's fruit, the fruit of God's, of God's life. What Paul calls the fruit of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, patience, peace, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. our remaining in the Lord as branches in the vine opens us up to that quality of life that God desires for us. A life which is a reflection of God's own life. If looking back, we find ourselves giving thanks for all those people who opened doors for us, we have to be all the more grateful to the one who, as the door and as the vine opens us up to God and to the life of God. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. All things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, to God from to God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, 
he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who at the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. He has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. God is love and commands us to live that same love, let us turn to him and pray for the strength to live as the, Lord's, uh, as the Lord teaches. That the Holy Spirit may continue to nurture the church and allow her disciples to bear good fruit, let us pray to the Lord. That all the ends of the earth may turn to the Lord for the justice he has shown, let us pray to the Lord. That the Father may prune the sins, fears, and bad habits that keep us from growing in his love, let us pray to the Lord. That the fellowship of this faith community may continue to be built up with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. That by the power of the resurrection, those who remained in Jesus in this life may remain with him in the next and this morning we remember the souls of James and Gloria Floriani. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all of our needs and intentions and silence, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all who, who grieve or who are sick or suffering in any way that they will be strengthened by the knowledge of Christ's love for them and for them and their, their well-being. Let us pray to our Mother Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. God and Father, we have, you have revealed your love for us and the death and resurrection of your Son. Increase our love for one another, that we may be your disciples in name and in truth, and we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Please join me in singing number 342, I am the bread of life, number 342. the wine we offer you, that the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. And I will praise you up, and I will raise Humble spirit and complete heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight as may be pleasing to the Lord our God, Lord Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment and the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. In song, let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace of Christ be with you. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Rise from your sleeping and run to the tomb. Come and see, come and see, he is alive. A grave that is empty, a promise fulfilled. God who was with us is here with us still. He is here, he is here, he is alive. Holy alive, conquered the grave. 
people sing alleluia people of god let your fear fall away your chains have been broken abandon your shame lift your hearts lift your hearts he is alive here now is mercy embracing your soul here the fulfillment that once was foretold it is true it is true he is alive great and defeated the night alleluia love is alive the sun has arisen for all your people sing alleluia People of God, now rejoicing in Christ, carry your joy to the darkness of night. Tell the world, tell the world, he is alive. Hear the good news of this glorious day. Every heart singing as heaven proclaims, He is Lord, He is Lord, He is alive. Alleluia, love is alive, conquered the grave and defeated the night. Alleluia, love is alive, the sun has arisen for all your people sing alleluia people of god see the morning is new rise from your sleeping and run to the tomb come and see come and see he is alive A grave that is empty, a promise fulfilled. God who was with us is here with us still. He is here, he is here, he is alive. Alleluia, love is alive. Conquered the grave and defeated the night. Alleluia. Alive, the sun has arisen for all. Your people sing Alleluia. Alleluia, love is alive, conquered the grave and defeated the night. Alleluia, love is alive, the sun has arisen for all. Your people sing Alleluia. Please join me in reciting prayer to St. Michael, St. Michael the Archangel, the penitent battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do the Prince of the Covenant host, by the power of God, trust in hell Satan, and all evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.
Hi, I'm Connie Therian, Director of Religious Education here at St. Elizabeth, and this is Kurt Christian. We're standing here before you asking for your support and prayers as we, along with other teens from St. Elizabeth of Hungry Parish, have the opportunity to attend the Steubenville East Youth Conference at the Mass Mutual Center in Springfield and a summer service trip to Larch Boston North, both in July. At the Steubenville Conference, we will join thousands of teens to encounter Jesus Christ through dynamic speakers, engaging music, the sacraments, and small group discussions. Larch Boston North is an international organization that forms communities of people living with and without disabilities. We will have a powerful encounter with God as we walk alongside, break bread with, and celebrate people of all abilities. We are looking forward to attending these trips to deepen our faith, connect with like-minded peers, and experience spiritual growth in supportive environment. Additionally, participating in such trips will provide us with valuable insights, guidance, and inspiration for living out our faith in daily life and discovering our own view about what faith and peace means to us as a team. To help defray the cost, we have some fundraisers scheduled. We have a chicken parm dinner Thursday, May 2nd at the Parish Center. We will be selling tickets after Mass and at the door. A basketball game, adults versus students, June 9th at the North Adams Armory. Come and cheer on the teens as they take on Father Darius and his team. A pancake breakfast, Sunday, June 30th at the Parish Center, and a scratch ticket raffle. Raffle tickets will be sold at all of the events. We will keep you updated with our upcoming events through the bulletin. Thank you in advance for your support and prayers. Just to give you an update on our uh, capital campaign. Uh, so uh, the total pledge amount is $528,376. Uh, total collected is $183,046.52. Now on each side of the sanctuary, you will find the Easter flower uh, donations listed on um, the pieces of paper and the same um, copies um, are displayed in the front of the church. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The mess is ended. We may go in the peace of Christ. You have a blessed weekend. Please join us singing number 554. Sing a new song, number 554. Let your soul 